Well, good morning guys. Trent here with the Rogue Outdoorsman channel. So I try to post a weekly video, at least during shed season. I work in construction full time. I'm married, I have one kid, but I try to go out on the weekends and hike as much as I can. So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Appreciate you guys following along. It is Saturday morning. I'm in not necessarily some new country, but I'm hiking some new spots. My friend Sam and I were in here about two years ago, we hit it twice and just never really could find the Browns. So uh, Taylor, Callie and I are in here trying some different spots. I've just been hiking down, just barely kind of bombed down in this canyon. <clears throat> Let me flip this around, got my first shed of the day. It's not an elk shed, but it's brown. Just a mule deer brown. Good front fork, just crabby on the back. A little bit bladed. Still tons of color on both sides. Just kind of tucked in here in the shade a little bit. But I'm hoping it's a good day and we can finally get some browns. There is a chance of finding some really big uh, muleys in here. My friend Eric picked up a big 92 inch single in here. So hopefully I can find something similar today. Well, I just found that brown. <clears throat> I haven't been looping around, I've just been going in a straight line. There's a super old mule deer shed. Giant third. Giant three, maybe. Just so old, chalky and pink. It's crazy. Well. Let's see what else we can turn up in here. All right, can you spot the shed from here? Sometimes it's hard from the screen. But I see some tines right through there, right between the branches. Doesn't look like a big one, but it's probably a hard white. So let's get down over there. Well, it looks like it just might be a five point. But it's here in the wide open bench. Hopefully he's got some friends in here with him that all shed together. Looks like a hard light from last year. Nothing big, but still a good quality antler. Yeah, hard white. We'll throw, it on, we'll throw it on the pack and hopefully we're finding quite a few more today. Well, I left my pack. I've been looping around trying to find something else. It's not really what I'm looking for. But there's a mule deer shed from last year. But lots of sign in here. I just can't figure out where the browns are. But hopefully I'll walk into a pocket here soon. Well, I've been just following a trail uh, along these benches, just hiking east. See some small tines. Looks like another five point. That one looks like two years old. But I've been in a big void. I haven't found anything in a while. So hopefully maybe there's some more in here. There's quite a bit of sign. I need to find some water. But it's got to be some more in here somewhere. Probably just lost it two years ago, just hiking this trail. But let's throw it on the pack. Maybe we'll turn up some browns yet. Well, I'll just come through this burn. There's a spring right back there. There is so much damn sign in here. This looks like a deer shed. I think it's a teeny tiny elk shed. Just from a couple years old. Yeah, not what we're looking for. Maybe two years old, a little ragger. But if that's right here on the bottom, maybe something else is in here. Stay tuned, hopefully we're picking up some browns. Well, it's been a long day. Finally have my best shed of the day. Hopefully it's a hard white and not super chalk. 
third is busted. I bet that's two years old. Maybe even three. Maybe even older. But that's my best shed of the day. As far as an elk shed, kind of a goofy one. But let's get them on the pack. Maybe there's some other bulls right in here. I'm parked up over that way. The main road's just down over here. I was hiking towards the road thinking maybe nobody's hiked over this way. Taylor and Callie said they found some whites, some elk, and some deer. I don't think they found any browns, but let's see what else we can turn up. Well, Sunday morning, just started hiking. Been hiking for about 10 minutes. Just hit my first feed face. So what we're looking for is a lot of this cliff rose and some of the south gra grass, but got my first shed antler right here it's old and chalky but hopefully there should be some browns i got some fresh sign there should be some stuff in here let me turn this around all right first shed of the day it's super old and chalky but there's got to be some more on this face so chalky six point to start the day Get this thing loaded on the pack and start zooming some zigs and some zags. We should turn up some antlers in here. Well, I left the pack up top, just been zigging and zagging. That thing's got to be 15 years old. It is going to stay there. But hopefully there's some newer stuff in here somewhere. Keep looping. All right, one minute later. Got another one. These things hide so damn good in here. Actually, a pretty nice shed. About five years old, maybe. But that's number three on this face so far. I bet there's some more. I'm going to keep zigging. My pack is up over here. But let's see what else we can turn up. Let me mark this on the Scout to Hunt app and let's keep zigging. Well, still scaling the cliffs. That's what it looks like. I could get a hard white right here. Unless it's two years old. Yeah, it's older. Just a five point. It's older. Probably three to four years old. Pretty consistent with what I've been finding. There's a ton of fresh sign. I just haven't found any browns yet, but it's my fourth antler of the morning. I've been hiking for about an hour and a half, so let's throw it on the pack, see what else we can turn up. Well, it's been a little while. I left my pack up top. There's sign all over. Got another super old elk shed that's just getting hung in a tree. It's my fifth chalk of the day. There's got to be some browns in here somewhere. Well, from back behind me, I could see some big tines sticking up over here. Not bad. Just an old chalk. Little six point or five point. Got some good mass, just nothing on the back end. Oh, let's throw it on the pack. At least it's all there. Super massy. Just gotta be an old bull going downhill. But that's my six one today. Well, I just picked up that five point chalk down there, been just busting some brush getting through here. That's how close I came. Almost walked right past it. That one looks like a little bit better shape. Hard white. Big bull. Just busted. On his sword and his back end. That's heavy. Big one. But 
Uh, let's throw it on the pack. Hopefully we're finally getting into a pocket here somewhere. Well, I've been wondering why I haven't found more deer sheds. Big three point. Not very wide. Pretty cool though. I will turn his other side up. The truck just up this way a little bit. It's heading back to the truck. I might drop the antlers. It's only about noon and then maybe do some more loops in here. Got a breeze, feels good. It's hot today though. I think it's probably like 82, but still picking up some antlers. Let's see what else we can turn up. Well, just made it back to the truck. I think I'm gonna unload these antlers here. Lighten my load, get something to drink, cool off, and then keep hiking. It's only noon. So I've got quite a few hours still. I just need to cool off and uh, get rid of the weight. But I found eight this morning and I brought back six. Nothing fantastic, but let's unload these and see what else we can turn up. Well, I was following a game trail down. Just hit this bottom. It's got a little creek down in here. But got a little raghorn or something over here. Might be a hard white. I point. Got a good sword. Probably a six. Just busted. Right on. The truck's not too far up to my right. But I might still keep looping around. Still chasing that elusive brown in here. Can't figure out where they're at. All right, so I recently just picked up this little splinter and I'm heading down a trail and just spotted my first brownie. So I'm gonna head down to it, see what we got. All right, here it is just right off this trail. I've been really bad at the matchup game, but I'm gonna keep following this trail and see if I can pick up that other side. All right, so I just picked up that little six point brown about eight minutes ago and I'm still on the same trail. Just spotted up an antler down there and I'm not sure if it's the match to this or a different one. So I will make my way down there and see what we got. All right, so I followed this trail. I was coming down to the bottom here and just looked off to the right and looks like there's an old shed in between those trees. So let's see what it is. All right, it's just a six point, probably a couple years old because it is cracky. Cracky, I don't even know if that's a word. Anyways, starting to crack and get chewed on, but I'll load it on the pack and keep going. <laughs> 